Hi, my name is Tim Whipple. I'm a landscape photographer here in Joplin, Missouri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to replace the sky with one click. So let's get started. Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to replace a, a complex sky with a, a new sky here. Now, uh, this is a, a picture I took a couple of years ago from Last Dollar Road, which is just outside of Telluride in Colorado. Absolutely beautiful road. And But the, the day that we were on it was the only day that we could be there, and the sky was just overcast, so no clouds. But we're going to fix that. And when you look at this image, you may think replacing the sky in this would be pretty difficult. But I'm going to show you a way that is just a one click and you'll, you'll be done. So the first thing we have to do is find us a good sky. And I've got one here from that same trip on our way home. Um, and we are going to take this sky and put it in this photo here. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this photo and we're going to put it on top of our sky. And if you go up to the tab here, keeping your mouse key down and then just drag it down and hold the shift key, that will drop it right on the top, right in the middle. All right. One click, I said, right? Okay, here's the magic. And this is a feature that you may... Uh, not even known about. If you go to the eraser tool over here and you click on it, you'll see that you have the eraser tool, background eraser tool, and the magic eraser tool. And we're going to choose the magic eraser tool. And I believe that default it's set up at 32, so you want anti-aliasing on, you want contiguous unclicked, and sample all layers. No, we just want to sample our layer our, that we want to replace the sky in. Now, you'll see here there's a, a uh, the cursor is letting us know that we can't do anything in this layer. And the reason is, is that is a, it's a smart object. So let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. Turn it off just to keep us a copy. Come down here and then if you right click on this, you can come up here and go rasterize layer, which will take that out of the smart object. And now we just have our pixel image here. Okay, we've got our, our uh, magic eraser tool selected. We have tolerance that it's, I believe this is the default. Contiguous is unchecked and sample all layers is unchecked. All we have to do is click in the sky somewhere and magically there's your sky the background here now you'll see there's a lot of fringing going on here and I'll show you a way to deal with that but the best way to deal with it right off the bat is just come up here and do step backwards and increase your tolerance and what I found out I just kind of cycled through at like I went 40, 50, 60, 70 until I got up to something that I thought was pretty good, which ended up being 90. So pretty high for your tolerance level here. Then click in the sky, and you can see it, it did a lot better job this time. We have still have a little bit of fringing, but not nearly as much. But for a an image with that complex of uh, masking, it would be pretty difficult. But what we've done actually is we've cut the sky out. We didn't add a mask over here. We actually cut the sky out. So that's why I like to make a copy. In case something goes wrong, we can always get back to the original. And I'll show you in a minute how you can change this to a mask if you want. But now, as you can see, we still have some fringing and stuff going on here. So we're going to fix that by going in. You can either go under FX down here go up to your blending or your we can go to blending options or what we're going to end up doing is an inner glow or what I like to do is just double click somewhere on the blank part of your layer here and that will also bring up your layer style then we're going to go into inner glow 
and you have to click on that. Now that was something that's kind of confusing when you first uh, come on into this style pa uh, panel. If you don't click on the, uh, see we clicked on it, but none of our options are our, yeah, none of our options over here changed. You have to actually click on that inner glow to get to the dialog panel for that. And we don't want a bright yellow. We want actually, we're going to switch this to multiply. And already that's changed it to the point where we may not do, need to do much of anything else. But let's go ahead and click on our color here. And we're going to choose a color from the sky, one of the darker colors. Click OK. And then uh, basically you want that uh, the size of the choke to zero. And we're going to just adjust this by using the opacity slider here. And we can take that back and forward until we find something that just pretty much does away with all of that uh, fringing. Click OK and let's back out of here. Now that was pretty much a one-click background sky replacement for that complex an image. Let's uh, try that one more time on another image that I have from Last Dollar Road. Got this image here. Now, very complex sky replacement, you might think. Um, we're going to replace it with this guy. And notice the perspective. I actually shot this straight up through our sunroof to get the same perspective as this. You don't want to be putting, um, you want to put this sky into this photo because it just won't look right. We want something that has the same perspective on the sky, which is this shot here, which I shot straight up. So we're going to take, again, we're going to move this layer over to our, the, the image we want to uh, put the sky into it. Hold down your shift key, let off your mouse, that drops it right in the middle. Uh, come over to your magic eraser, we're going to leave it at 90 and see how that does. Contiguous off, all sample layers off. We have to... Uh, Let's go ahead and duplicate that and turn it off and then right click rasterize layer. And we're set to go. We're just going to click. And again, one click sky replacement. Let's go over and fix that fringing with the inner glow again. I'm going to switch this to multiply. And this one here, you can still see a little fringing on it, so we're going to definitely want to come in here and get us a dark blue sky color. And there you have it. Now, <clears throat> there's only one uh, other thing I'd like to show you on this, and that is if, let's say you don't like cutting away part of your image, you would like rather have a mask uh, added to it instead of cutting it away. Well, if you will hold down the control key or command key on a Mac, you see it turns into a selection here. And if we click on that, that loads up our selection. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Go back to our copy here and come down here to the square icon with the circle in it for our mask. And if we click on that, you can see now we have basically the same thing, but this time we've got a mask and we can adjust the mask if we want to, instead as opposed to cutting out our uh, sky in this one. And we can just take our effects here and drag it up. And we have the same that we had down here, only this time we masked it off instead of cutting it out. All right, I hope that helped you out. Um, Make sure and subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more for you uh, in the next few weeks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, hope that helped you out. Please make sure and subscribe to my channel so you get uh, my upcoming videos. I'm going to try to be putting out at least one a week, maybe more. And uh, thanks for your comments and those that have already subscribed, and look forward to seeing you on my next YouTube video. Thanks a lot. Bye.